I'm Felicia Elizondo. I'm also known as Felicia Flames. I'm also known as Mexican Spitfire. I am a <laughs> screaming queen, a pioneer, a legend, an icon, a diva, a 27-year survivor of AIDS, a veteran, a Vietnam veteran, and a 40 years of being a transsexual woman. All right, this is a real treat. Wow. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. Wow. Wow. We were sissies, we were queers, we were hotos, we were abandoned from our families, we were thrown out of cities, we were killed, raped, beat up, thrown in jail, and harassed by anybody that would harass us. The only way that we could uh, make a living was prostitution, selling drugs. The youth of today have it very lucky because in our generation, we didn't have nowhere to turn to. I, it must have been so hard to find a community because now you can go on the internet, find people online, find... So how did you... I know you hung out in places like the Compton Cafeteria, but how did you create community back then? Tenderloin was the gay mecca of San Francisco. A place where you could come and feel comfortable. We would not go off of Mar uh, Mason. We did go across the street for uh, Woolworths for makeup and mm. eyelashes and all that stuff. We wouldn't go no. past Gary, we wouldn't go past uh, Polk Street, and we wouldn't go past uh, Marcus Street. It was Gene Compton's cafeteria, it was the Blue and Gold, it was the Landmark, the Dalt, the Old Crow, the Trap, the Body Shop, the Nokios, the Guilty Cage, the Alley Cat, wow. the Rendezvous, the Frolic Room, the 181. It was a lot of fun going on there. Oh, was it? <laughs> was it more fun back then or is it more fun now? Well, I'm old now, girl. I'm, six, I'm 68. Ah, oh, you can still walk. Yeah, there's plenty of people having fun now. Yeah. Wow. You've seen it all. After I became HIV positive, I became a transsexual drag queen. All right. I, decided, I love this city. I decided that, well, my girl's friends decided that since I performed uh, uh, at the Baton in Chicago as a stripper, uh, they wanted me to come back and, and start raising money for AIDS and I, I think I've been raising money for AIDS for the last 27 years. Wow. Oh my God, wow. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. I, I used to perform with, with Vicki Marlene and she was my idol because uh, she was an icon, a diva and everything plus me. <laughs> and we just named the uh, 100 block of Turk Street. Uh, oh, so they did. Vicky they, Marley. Yeah, Marley. Marley. All right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. On yeah. June 20, 29. Probably Charlie. And she is the first transsexual woman to have her name in any San Francisco street or in the United States of America. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're at that. Yeah. And Anne Charlie's is. The it's the best bar to go to. Oh yeah, yeah, I love that. I you love know? the fact that you got old, older and newer drag queens. Yeah, you know, it's, together. It's, yep. a, it's, a, it's a bar that's a community. And it's the best drinks and, and cheap too. Yeah, <laughs> I'll remember that. Well, you're an inspiration. All right, all right, give it up for Felicia Flames. That was Ando. Yes. All right, yes. thank you so much for spending your time. And we'll be right back. Woo, have a drink. All right, great. Thank you so much.